This video contains flashing lights. By the you way, go go subscribe and watch Tats's top videos. They are fantastic the content. Gaming, the NES fantastic. Remembered as the and also, I grew up with these games, guys. The NES. Or rather, I grew up with the Famicom. The 80s market crash. But to those of us who have played its games, we recall our first memories exploring the land of Hyrule, camping through the Mushroom Kingdom. I never played like this Mario, against though. Deadly space pirates. Not to mention the various other infamous titles we either remember. Like, strangely enough, I never played Mar like whatever that Mario was. I never played uh, Legend of Zelda. I never played Castlevania, and basically any of the big Nintendo properties. I never actually played on the NES. When I had the NES, I played stuff like Contra and um, Nemo's Dream World and stuff like that, like very obscure games. That's like that was like all that I had on the NES. I did have the original Super Mario Bros though. I did play that. I played the TMNT 3, I think. I played Guerrilla Warfare, all those like super obscure games on the NES. But I never played the big games. Remember fondly or not? I Let's played Battletoads. Battletoads was a team banging our game. Personal experiences with the top 14 NES games flashback with the Tats Top video staff. Hey, maybe we'll find some games here to play later. Um, Double Dragon 2 is mm, I played Double Dragon. Game Very good game. Follows the story of the first game, but in this one, uh, Marion gets killed, and so the Lee brothers sort out revenge. On like <laughs> these games oh, were one shot. There was that's, no that's like saves, one because and I never got to play it at length. Anything past like stage two, especially on the hard difficulty, gets ridiculously, ridiculously difficult. Hmm. Chippendale took a rather this is a list, but very very good game it recognizes that as a chipmunk you are basically powerless against anything that you face a lot of the time you don't actually defeat enemies you just evade them yeah you outsmart them it makes very good game. Of the the picking up of the blocks and the tossing them to solve puzzles as well as deal with levels and the locales were really well detailed yep 100 percent very good there game. There's a lot of challenge involved and lots of objects can be very creative as well. And the and the music is fantastic. The music was really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a second game as well. That second game was really good as well. This was one of my first encounters with a beat em up in my life. Yes, definitely. Like video game wise. Where I was like, I played oh, this okay, as well. So you just run around and beat stuff up. This game was hard. You know, there was all, there, th yeah, there were plenty of games that were before then, but this one was my first one. And I thought it was cool because it was exactly what it was trying to be to me, which was like Ninja Turtles and stuff that was cool to me at the time. And Ninja Turtles are still cool. And I think the best part about this cool, game so is guess breaking the environment and picking stuff Visuals up. Visuals are really charming and it's like, a cartoony style game you beat the crap out of everyone that crosses your way yeah you can break that thing's or legs and use the legs as a, as a weapon everyone. worst level i would say volkmar inferno um the reason why i say that is because um you're it flying is on jets and extremely difficult you need, level need like perfect reflexes almost frame perfect reflexes these sort of laser traps yeah i remember this master Bit once. Faster. Um, Insane. You have to memorize the pattern. Difficult. There was no way you can just do it visually. This is difficult. This is just really, really hard. One tap and you're dead. It was level nine, if I'm correct. Oh, this one wasn't that bad. Like, you're being chased by. You just have uh, to keep going. At some point, you're chased by, by a sort of gear. I was like. Yeah, this I tunnel been... section was extremely difficult. Uh, I don't know, maybe like close to around the threes like fives so it's like i didn't even literally have to be frank perfect tunnel. <laughs> there you go because at that point i wasn't really focused on beating the game it was the concept that i was able to control something on the screen and like affect the world around me which was beating the crap God, this stuff, level which was great so Insane it wasn't like design. oh i need to beat this level oh i need to beat the game i need to get the high score i was like oh you know i punched something that's cool yeah watching a speed run of this game would be insane Alfred, no i got to rat race i think where you have to beat Number 10. Well, Ninja Gaiden is... I played this. It's another platforming game. Yeah, this is the only Ninja Gaiden I played, and I played it as a kid. based around... You play as Ryu Hayabusa, 
This game was pretty hard. Father was killed. Well, I say killed. Uh, he was defeated by an, I think it was an assassin or another ninja, and you inherit his ancestral sword. Ninja Gaiden was a pretty interesting game. Um, it was the side scroll em up game, but it was like super fast. Maybe, maybe somewhat similar to Contra in some things, but the difficulty being several levels higher. And Contra is already really the hard. the game being confusing because it wasn't called Ninja Gaiden in our country. It was actually called Shadow Warrior for some weird reason. Okay, but in general, what I remember most is being flung back 50 feet when I got hit by an enemy. Um, and falling into pits. I and never finished this game. Enemies, that was a this game was too hard for me as a kid. The Ninja Turtles. Ah, Ninja Turtles, okay, dude, so this game was bad. I didn't play this I one, I played the third huge one. Into Ninja, me and my cousin were huge into Ninja Turtles. The third one is very 90s. good. Like, that was... That was our... That was almost our main... That was our main, pretty much, where... It was just Ninja Turtles and maybe other stuff on the side, or... Yeah, we're all about other stuff, but it was Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I can't, also, I can't I'd say, the say much because I never played this one. I played the third one. And so like I, I said, was I was easy. really bad at games when I was a little kid. Uh, they were all hard to me, and it was a miracle if I got past them. Um, so I guess it was maybe the one I couldn't but, um, get past, which was glad like to hear the fourth these guys, I have uh, no idea which one that would be. But... Like, I guess similar to my age? Oh, yeah, I also grew up these levels. Games. I'm, I'm like a lot of other people. I'm not good with water levels. No, I never beat the game, but I did witness my dad beat the game, so props to him. He sat there from like start to finish and beat the game and yeah, yeah it's man. Not these one of those games, games are one shots on you sit there and you, and you finish the game there there's no saves start to finish and beat it legitimately no oh yeah no i never beat yeah i barely got past the little four or five in the original legend of zelda yeah i never played uh, the, the original legend of zelda down, <laughs> and i had a, i had a family of link um it still retains the top down view but that's only when you're in the map or hub when you enter a palace or a cave, uh, the camera switches to this sort of side scroller. You can level up, which is something that the other game didn't do. So the more enemies you defeat, the more points you get, so you can basically upgrade. Oh, that's the Dark Souls of Legend of Zelda games. Attack <laughs> magic. Which will benefit you in the long run when you get to some of the harder levels. If you're asking if I ever beat it, nah. I have not. No, I. Yeah, if we were all I kids back then, there's no the way we could beat this game uh, in one like, sitting. This sucks. I, I was only allowed an hour a day to play games. Like Contra, I have not. Back then, there's no way I could beat this in an hour. Uh, Castlevania's about this. I love Castlevania. Uh, I never played it as a kid. I never played it on the NES either. Exactly, because he's just been messing things up again. Or but like man, in man, high school, sample. that's when I became a fan of Castlevania. Uh, going around and whipping Dracula. I mean, there's a real story to be found. There, there certainly God, might I love have Castlevania. Been Konami, can you just sell it already? If you're I not gonna do anything with that. it. I mean, death was. I couldn't really ever get past death. Yeah, and I, I need to stream Castlevania. There's so many things I want to stream. I have time. I haven't gotten any game is very good. That. So I played the, uh, the remakes. <laughs> The boss that I had the hardest time with is the Mummy Twins. They annoy me them more than Death himself. Uh, Death. I'd say it's my hardest boss. It's death is a lot- I think the bats are harder than Death. Boss, but Cause you can yeah, break the sides of Death, like but the bat- really on your The giant bat is super annoying. There's insta-kill spots. It literally drops you off the stage. Contra is a side scroller Contra. shoot em up game. I played this as a kid. In which I think I finished it as well. Nine directions, but only one. I played it with time. my brother. You can shoot like to, to the front of the character, to the back. You can crouch. Oh my god, I remember bullets. this level. And it's a really hard game because um, at the same time that all most enemies die at one hit you also die at one hit yeah the country is this game where you play as like two buff dudes and it go onto the it's island. very clearly rambo and and, 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 and and commando and that's all i remember from Contra. It's arnold and but and and, and, and sly Europe, it was called robotech right? and they replaced all the human enemies with robots so i didn't really know about this until i got the internet 
countries a run and gun man the music in this game is nuts enemies as well. all over the screen you have three lives you're trying to go game from so a difficult. to b <laughs> favorite weapon i'd say definitely Red? the spread gun yeah i'm pretty sure my team will say the same thing that Red. gun was so overpowered it was either spread or laser it broken, but it was like so awesome uh without a doubt the spread gun yeah the spread gun just it covers so much area does so much damage it doing it against bosses it shreds them in no time because the spread or hits. laser with the laser yeah, you can I hold it hold it with your turbo yeah or equally my favorites if you hold the turbo button yeah, the laser the sticks onto shot. your gun you can I ram things with really it really do like the uh spread shot because it has a wide range <laughs> yeah no i forgot what it was called but basically the weapon that shoots out um triple lasers or triple guns it's a spread. Yes. Yes. There wasn't too many hard bosses in Contra, but I think the ones I kind of had trouble with was the ones where you were in the bases. Oh, yeah. These yeah, these these ones the are the hardest ones. I think that's the like second level. But yeah, the and base bosses are really the hard. The is different. It's not like the other levels. They can throw you off. It's Honestly, hard to dodge. The, final, yeah. uh, the final will constantly spam out uh, like like an infinite amount of an infinite this one wasn't that hard just gonna surround you yeah uh with the spread gun it's not too bad yeah if you have a you spread gun it's not bad die uh if you die then you are severely screwed you just get sent back to the side of the level yeah it's like this xenomorph alien uh it was really hard like i barely even uh, like killed it at times the most challenging one that I might have died a couple times from was the third boss. The gate boss? It's not, yes, that I one's not bad either. Um, I didn't really need the 30 lives cheat either, but um, it was a challenge, but I still did beat Contra. I did, uh, honestly though, with Konami code, uh, I did not beat it three lives because... Yeah, when I played, I always used the Konami code. code. There was no way lives, you can beat it with the whole game with three lives. The game is extremely anyway, hard. This is friends good, but... I think the Konami code makes that game more bearable. Well, what's the Konami code? Up, down, up, down, left, right. Yeah. BA, BA. Luckily, I beat the game like out of lots of times. I just beat it like 10, maybe. I don't remember the Konami code, guys. I I'm a fake gamer. I have not beaten the game since the latest stage I could get up to was the fourth game. I have to find my NES to play. Or I could just play on an emulator. No, I got very close. Very close. I do remember finishing this game, but I also friend. cheated with the Konami oh. code. Oh, uh, the first Metroid game. I never played Metroid originally. The first Metroid I played was Zero Mission on the Game Boy. I'm not sure I'm get this right. <laughs> and I fell in love ever since. Where you play as the Bounty Hunter Metroid, and your primary goal is to defeat the space God. pirates and their evil like overlords. Zero company. Mission was a remake of this game. I'm pretty sure. But basically, you know, it's it's a long maze-like game where you're Metroidvania. Able to in any way love you want it. To, love and, it. My favorite uh, genre in gaming. Yeah, it's fun. You know, you get upgrades. There's also back, kind of you go forward, partially the reason you know, why I like Dark Souls. And, and you know, the more almost get, the Metroidvania. Reason, you know, like traverse. If I the music and like, sound effects was nutty. Looked, yeah, everything looked freaky, and I liked that because I, I was a, uh, I was always a kid who was fascinated by stuff that scared me. It like it was Damn. scary. It was like, you know, <laughs> I'm the same. Pulling away from it, but it also like interested me what about it is scary and then before you know it stopped being as scary and then i was able to actually it's about like, the adventure after all so I, I was loving the whole aesthetic of the like, aliens looking like horrific and like it's they funny i never humanoid. played this they weren't i played zero mission and i can still recognize you know levels. aliens it's, that it's said stuff no these were like biomass of freakiness mm. i remember getting lost a lot in this game because too? again the game gives you really no map this was my really first Metroidvania. To go in there. Every place looks the same in this game, um, apart from when you go to, say, North Fair or Brinster. Used to Metro Zero Mission having a map, and there was no map. Yeah, oh, I just got played Zero Mission as well. I was yeah. just like, uh, I just got oh, so lost. So, but there's I, no map in the did, NES version. I can't imagine I playing really without a map. Take notes of maps, and even then, I still don't do that. Work your way through. I am very thankful for Metroid, like, and I'm like, very like, thankful like, for Castlevania for inventing basically my favorite games. genre. So rather than sort of a linear progress of stage one, stage two, stage three, it's literally just here's this map, here's another section of the map. Build the map in, find power ups, get access to more areas. 
Yeah, you'll find areas you can't access yet. The bosses to get access to more Advance areas. on, come back later. That kind of thing. Love it. Yeah, the music, the flipping. Yeah, turning into a ball. It was the movements, because I'd never seen movements like that in a game where it's like, oh, you jump and you do all those flips. Yo, Shine Spark? Yeah. Ooh. The thing that is cool. that I didn't... Yeah. Uh, yes, I did beat the game. Um, I did I did beat it. I beat and, Zero Mission. Um, I thought it was pretty awesome, actually, that Samus was a woman, because at the time, there wasn't really many video game protagonists. Yeah, it came as such a shock women, when, so when, when, when Samus it. died. I was really surprised. I mean, I was quite young at the time when that happened, so it I wasn't really aware of the like the disconnect between like female protagonists and male protagonists at the time. Yeah, me too. But it was really surprising. I was super shocked end, in a good way. And sort of being like, oh, I'm playing as a woman. You, which yeah, this was now around it's, the, it's the time, time where every every male character was like a macho man. So, so this was a really nice I um, never got age. far enough to see that. Now, every the action real, male the character times was all macho muscle men. Ben was from YouTube videos. I never saw it for myself, unfortunately. I think this was the first one. Like, first I Mega did Man play the original played. Mega Man. And I never finished it. It was too hard. Bosses are actually a lot of fun to fight. It was too it hard, was and I had no idea about the swapping abilities. I found to get variety of weapons that you get. I never knew how to swap weapons, dude. Like in every. It was too hard game, for me. After you beat a boss, you obtain their weapon. Oh, definitely. This reminds like, me, the Mega Man game that I really, that really loved um, Smash, like, is Mega Man Zero and Mega Man Zero um, ZX on the Nintendo DS. Those games Absolutely. were bangers. I, think the I also played the X series, but I, I only played Mega Man X, X, I think. Mostly because not only but I don't have much memory of it. Quite a powerful has... The last Mega Man game I played actually was on the phone. Um, they made a, sort of like a throwback Mega Man game what's it called i have it on my phone i think it's actually pretty good for a mobile game like they do throwback levels of these classic games and they have all the all basically the entire Mega Man um extended universe all coming together uh rockman x dive i think i might have played it on stream once if, if y'all like Mega Man, honestly check out rockman x dive on your phone it's free to play it's Pretty good. If you have a controller and you can connect it to your phone, it's pretty good. Good game. Because I was so excited, I, I accidentally kicked the table with my knee. Most of the pizza fell on the floor and, and it was a moment of excitement and depression for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I, I feel that, dude. I feel that. I did not, thanks to that level. <laughs> Uh, yes, I have. No, these games back then, there was so much satisfaction uh, in beating them. Times, because that's, uh, they're actually challenging, you know? Again, they don't hold your hand. These days in the you literally have to learn the patterns. Uh, to the point where I often challenge oh my myself God. to not use a boss's weakness or to avoid using certain powers. Also, I can't believe uh, that we're 32 minutes in. This didn't, didn't even feel that long. Like, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm just enjoying this too much because it's literally my childhood. I never played Duck Hunt as a kid. Duck Hunt's pretty much just a game where you connect this toy. Never played to it. The, Didn't have it. Uh, to the NES Didn't have that's connected to the TV. By I had a bunch of bootleg NES magic. cartridges. I never had a, a legit Pixel cartridge. Ducks. I always had the 101 cartridges with some of these games. Duck Hunt is the what I would call the first game that taunted you. Because if you didn't hit every duck, that dog would laugh at you. and. You always hated that dog. Wow. I remember there was a really popular uh, urban legend involving that game where you could shoot the dog. Yeah, I heard that as well. A lot of people hate the duck hunt dog. Now that's the premise uh, for duck. Uh, there's a, really a duck season that, that if indie you horror game. To stage 99, you'd be able to shoot the dog. I'm, well, I, okay. I, 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 have a, I have a Japan trip sort of like planned coming up soon, maybe hopefully once they open up for tourists. I do plan on buying a classic Famicom again, just because the one that I had as a, as a child is gone, along with all the games. So I do plan on buying a classic uh, Famicom, and hopefully there's some sort of like HDMI adapter or something, because I want to stream some like NES games, but using the original ho hardware, because I feel like that would that'll really drive the point home and uh, give me all of the um, 
the nostalgic tingles, you know? Ah, oh, man, I miss those days. When games were just all about fun. Trial and error. But it is one of the ones that punish you for the trial. Like, you can have trial and error. That doesn't make it any more easier because you still have to suffer through the initial, like, challenge of, okay, I died here. Now let me go back. Okay, now I died here. The, yeah, it's the that walk process, of shame but back. So many times through the. But that was just all games back in the day. And then it's it's also it's absolutely. I feel like I actually like really like that. You're actually but. doing it. Like you managed to dodge everything, even when you've gone past your trial and error section, and you're like, oh my god, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I might actually, and then you die. I do rem do remember That's the first time I played that. Reminds me of another it YouTuber. Was hard, Very similar there voice. There were lots of obstacles. Yeah, there were lots of obstacles to get through like at first they were intimidating but the more i played them like i got more i basically got a feel for it so the youtuber I that i really like airships. the silver I, yeah after <laughs> this i was like you know what i'm just gonna play paper mario isn't paper mario awful from what i heard at least the sequels how was it Did you i mean oh well, yeah but like, wow click the bell icon and subscribe to basically the hour gone by that went by pretty and quick. Now let's see the creators of this video. Like I said, guys, please watch Tats's content. It is fantastic. I probably try to avoid watching more Tats's content on stream because I don't want to leech too much. But I really do love Tats's videos. Tats makes great videos, and thank you to the staff. All the videos and the narration. All the content. Great content. Ooh, tw top 20 Japanese creepy pastas. Damn, that would be a really good watch, but like I said, I don't want to leech too much off tats. Ah, oh. I, I probably have already seen this, but I don't remember because it was two years ago. Goddamn.